How would you make this in Medium? Hi folks, welcome to this new series where I answer How would you make this in Medium? This first question comes from Cable Adams and he asks How would I make a vented gun barrel? So here we go. These videos will probably be slightly longer than my usual videos because they are quite technical and I go through the entire process. Nothing is skipped. So I'm just picking the cylinder grid and angle snap and place it on the origin it makes it much easier later duplicate the barrel I am up raising now but I should have done it before I placed it I'm scaling down the duplicated copy And now I'm rotating it 90 degrees. I make sure it's accurate by typing the number in directly. I just eyeball this move here, but then I see the number and I pick a relatively sensible one, eh, just for my own sanity. The vent's going to go the whole way through, so I check that the little cylinder is coming out the bottom as well, which it is at the moment. I duplicate the little cylinder. And I zero out its value. And duplicate again. We want these to be a sensible distance apart and we want them to be the same distance so the first one I have there is zero and then I have one at minus 0.15 so each of the ones in between are going to be at values of 0 0.05 apart so I just make duplicates and place them at those values 0 0.05, 0 0.1, sorry minus in this case. These numbers are arbitrary, they just suit this scene that I've made, yours will be different. You just need to do a wee bit of maths to make it work for you. I select them all and merge, this will make it easier later. And I rename some things in the scene manager, again just so that I can track them a bit easier. I select and duplicate the big barrel and then scale it down. I've hidden the original barrel just for clarity. And now I use my extrude technique to make the barrel longer. Uh, I use the grid snap uh, and 100% strength on the square move tool. I up the subdivisions on the grid just so that I don't need to move my arm as far. This is all arbitrary, it doesn't, it's not actually a matter of this but it's going to be subtracted anyway. It just has to be longer than the actual barrel that we're subtracting from. And I rename it so as we don't lose it in the scene manager. And I name the other things for the same reason. It makes booleans easier when everything's named. We select and duplicate the holes and move them over. I use the input just for precision and that's our first set of holes done. No, sorry, need to merge those two into just one. Keeps it simple. And then we duplicate that set and we're going to rotate it around most likely by 45 degrees. Input just to be precise.
try to be clever here with my maths and work out what half of that is and then make sure that this set lines up between the other two and uh, I just make an absolute pig's ear of it and then just eyeball it because I'm maverick. I then throw precision to the wind and offset them eyeball as well. I've had enough of these numbers. Math too. But then I put the number anyway just to be sure. I don't like how close this little one here has got to the edge so I'm just going to delete it out. So we need one more row of offset holes to finish this half of the vents. I eyeball it again. I am such a cheeky chappy. That's this half of the vents done, so I'm going to merge them all together. And then we need the other half, so duplicate this set. And we need to rotate them around to the other side. Uh, so then we type in the wrong box because we're idiots. And then we grab the manipulator to check which uh, box we should have typed in. And through some magical alchemy, I realise that I can just zero out this number to realign it. I merge the two sets of holes that we have now as we have a full set that goes right all the way around. On inspection I can see that these don't really come the full way through so we're going to have to move them. I am so cheeky. I just use it uh, by wiggling those little arrows. Cheeky cheeky. To simplify the boolean operation we merge these two pieces, the holes and the large hole right through the middle, the central bore. Then we select the barrel and the subtraction part and we subtract and we end up with this horror. Undo and increase the res. Ta da! And some metal to admire our handiwork. If this guy had an auntie, she would be called climactic. <laughs> 